the definition of hormone sensitive uh, prostate cancer has been well known since the 1940s uh, when Dr. Huggins uh, first reported that testosterone ablation therapy, namely medical castration, excuse me, surgical castration, uh, induced complete remissions in many patients. His first patient was castrated and had survived 14 years before he died of the disease. Uh, Dr. Huggins, then uh, at University of Chicago, awarded, was awarded the Nobel Prize for that work. He also was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work on hormone dependence of breast cancer. So his understanding of hormone dependence of cancer included both breast cancer and prostate cancer. So hormone dependent prostate cancer is in many ways similar to hormone dependent breast cancer. It has a bone dominant characteristic. It can give you uh, benefit of uh, therapy without harshness of chemotherapy and with only side, with the only side effects being the effect of castration on both the woman and the man. So that includes hot flashes. That includes um, changes in body index, increasing weight, arthralgias, things like that. So the standard of care for many years has been medical or surgical castration. In the 1970s, uh, uh, LHRH agonists were developed by Dr. Uh, Scali, and he won a Nobel Prize for that. Uh, in the 1980s, biclutamide, flutamide, nilutamide were developed. They were added to LHRH agonist and proved to be marginally valuable. Some uh, of us believed it was enough to use. Some believed it was not enough. It came, came to about a 5% uh, benefit by adding um, a um, uh, androgen receptor antagonist. Um, the biggest breakthroughs in the treatment of hormone sensitive disease came with the addition of the charted Stampede and GITUG trials showing that the docetaxel added to LHR agonist had a major survival advantage, measuring on the order of uh, a year or so, sometimes as much as two years. So that became the new standard. Shortly thereafter, however, um, two years ago, Dr. Vazazi. Um, at uh, ASCO showed that adding abiraterone to uh, LHRH agonist uh, improved the median survival by about two years. Uh, so the current state of the art is either giving uh, LHRH agonist and docetaxel or LHRH agonist and abiraterone. And a lot of us debate whether you should give both Maybe you should give LHRH agonist, chemotherapy, and abiraterone, and those studies need to be done. Uh, in this patient, uh, he's elderly. Ultimately, uh, I decided to give him the combination of LHRH agonist and abiraterone. He did very well and had a three-year duration of response, uh, and then slowly his PSA began to rise showing that his tumor had become androgen independent or castrate resistant. 